hey guys it's oaks welcome to the channel and thank you for watching please don't forget to like subscribe share comment down below one click one sub one minute one like and you are all set thank you so much for helping the channel guys i told you so remember when i was making videos about gabriel jesus back in the day it's on the record I made so many videos, did a lot of watch alongs, and also live streams selling Gabriel Jesus. I wanted this guy to sign for Chelsea Football Club. Guess what? You got a lot of sticks by just voicing your opinion. Oh, the manager knows better. Are you saying that the manager is wrong here? Are you saying, are you saying people try to put word in your mouth for you trying just to give your opinion? I said Chelsea needed Gabriel Jesus first and Raheem Sterling, just a bonus if we have money, some change left. It doesn't mean that I didn't want Raheem Sterling. No. I wanted both of them. Why not both? Because they're going to complement each other. That's what I was pushing back then. All the specialists, they're going to take your word out of context just to try to, to create fight or beef. Are you saying this? Are you saying that? No, I'm just saying that we can get both of them. And in life, we have choices. You can choose red. I choose blue. That is part of life. I don't have to hate somebody in order to give my opinion. What is happening right now at Chelsea Football Club? We are forcing Raheem Sterling to play a false nine. But we have a proper number nine that we refuse to, to, to buy. And we are panic buying Aubameyang 25 million. We tried Lewandowski. No, it didn't work out. We tried to hijack uh richarlison the last minute it didn't work out so why we didn't have the reflection of going for both pay the money to man city bring them at the bridge what a combo that was going to be wow just wow anyways my people so we're gonna double check here what really happened during that game okay boom arsenal four leicester city two gabriel jesus with two goals granny jacka with one goal and gabriel martinelli with one goal for the foxes william saliba scored a goal a non goal for for them and james madison with a very good goal but uh, the goalkeeper could have done better because he went through his legs from a very, very difficult angle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 4-2 at the end. Arsenal got all three points. So, six out of six, Arsenal are flying like eagles. Look at this. Man of the match, Gabriel Jesus. Who else? You don't even have to guess because... He got two goals and two assists. Oh my goodness. Two goals, two assists. This guy is walking on water. Now I am proven right. <laughs> I was right. Two sh uh, he had three shots on target. Two of them went at the back of the net. Uh-huh. Tells you how clinical this brother is. <laughs> For us, we're going to have thousand shot on target zero goal because we're gonna shoot straight to the goalkeeper <laughs> oh key passes three of them successful dribble three this guy was awesome look at the vote here he won by 87 percent <laughs> gabriel martinelli came second with seven percent bukayo saka one percent and all that we're gonna we know we're gonna waste time on details here what a game of football from the gunners scary stuff now chelsea are under pressure also tottenham hospitals are under pressure because they have to win chelsea also have to win 
it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen on Sunday between the two teams. And uh, how our Loni Fofana did. <laughs> Chelsea Loni, if you know, you know what I'm trying to say here, right? So Fofana, he almost scored a golasso. Man, the move, the movement from that uh, that action was awesome. Unfortunately, he shoots straight to the goalkeeper. But if he scored that goal, Fofana, I think his price tag was going to double. <laughs> Instead of 95 million, probably we were going to pay 150 because that was a little bit of Rudiger in him, right? <laughs> You know, those crazy moments from Rudiger that would dribble past people and score. So, yeah. So, you can tell that uh, the young Fofana got a little bit of Rudiger in him. He just needs to, to learn how to score. <laughs> Not only dribble. But, oh my goodness, just imagine if he scored that goal. I was going to be happy for him. But also, I was going to be thinking myself, this is not good for Chelsea. It's going to increase his price. And um, listen, at the end of the day, they conceded four goals. And Fofana was part of the defense that conceded four goals. So don't get it twisted. Eh? I'm not having any agenda here. I'm just stating fact. He was part of the defense that conceded four goals. You can't blame him alone because they just lost Schmeichel. They just lost uh, many, many. Uh, they're going to lose even more players. And he's unstable at the moment. The defense, you know, Leicester City defense been poor for a little while. So it doesn't, you know, it has nothing to do with Fofana only. But as a defensive block, you have to take some responsibilities. New goalkeeper that they, I don't even know where they got him, but awful goalkeeper. If Schmeichel was there, it was going to be different. So, let's not twist it here. If Malang Saar, Andreas Christensen, were part of that defense that conceded four goals, we were going to find a scapegoat. We were going to scapegoat Malang Saar, Andreas Christensen. Anybody that we don't like, when a team is not doing good, you, you pick up your boy that you don't like to make your point to say, I told you so. So, we have to be honest here and say Fofana was very poor too because he's part of the team that was very poor. So, uh, and this is the reason why I don't want to pay 95 million or even 80 million on a young kid, you know, uh, 21 years old. He can improve. He will become one of the best in the world with the right coaching. Give him time. He's going to develop. But just don't sell us Fofana as the second coming of John Terry. He's not in that level yet. He's going to make a lot of mistakes and learn from those mistakes. He, if he comes to Chelsea Football Club in the right place, in the right, uh, with the right price, I think he's going to do good. But I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on him paying crazy ridiculous amount of money breaking our transfer record for a defender just for somebody that you don't know you just don't know what could happen with bad injuries that he just had in the few last season you never know and some people try to sell us this guy as he was the missing pace he is the perfect guy for chelsea and blah 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 just stop it man stop it anyways people 4-2 to Arsenal. Congratulations to them. Pressure on Chelsea and Tottenham now to perform. Otherwise, the Gunners are flying just like eagles. So stay tuned because I'm preparing other videos. Uh, other games are coming your way. So I don't want to make this video too long. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel and all the good stuff.